Don't you think that kind of looks like uh, the face of a, of a cow or a bull? Yeah, I see it. So we're walking onto the job site after the framing has been nearly completed. The sheathing is on and we'll take a look at some of the details here on the Rover Mix project. And this had to be, as we know, had to be positioned right over the slab. It was already elevated and you can see what they've saved. They've saved all the rafters. They've started some, ah, that's so good. How's that timing working out like that? So we've got a little bit of the structure here still, but we were able to to keep it where we wanted to. We've got a, one more wall coming in here on the inside that divides the apartment from the rest of it. And you can see we have the thermal fly sheathing which has a aluminum very uh, radiant barrier on it. And then they also went ahead and did spacing on all the decking so that it doesn't swell up and create buckling. And uh, as Caleb will tell you, I looked at, the, looked at the photos and couldn't see it, so I questioned them about it. Because I wanted to make sure if we get a little moisture that it doesn't, doesn't buckle. But he already knew. He already knew. I just couldn't see it in the photos that we get daily. So I can see these pictures every day. Photos of them downloaded. All these great team members download and make sure that, that we get good photos of it every day so we know what's going on. It also tells me where I want to go video and how far we'll be. You can see straps, straps on the joints, temporary bracing here. Uh, this is a temporary wire run for our, for our port, and it does meet code, but that's all temporary. This is all dead, all dead, and we're going to be hooking it up soon. We've got a nice strap on here for the joints. Inspectors love to see that. We don't always do it, but since we had this thing up in the air, we needed, we needed to keep it together from pulling apart. That's one thing that can happen whenever you raise a building. It can start pulling apart at the wood joints. It's not an issue whenever you get it all finished and you uh, do it normal construction, but, but it's going to move in the meantime. We had to make sure that since it is getting moved before it's complete, we have straps on every joint. There is one here. And there is another one over here. That really keeps things tight. So we're putting on sheathing. What are we doing? What kind of sheathing? OSB 716? Yes, sir. 716 is for uh, OSB. Then we'll, then we'll be ready for what? The siding? For vapor barrier around this thing. Corner siding, exterior door, garage door, uh, jam. We're so. going to be building some headers soon? Yes, sir. We've got our LVLs out there in the plastic. That's, uh, that's our backup raining day work right there. Good, but we're going to get this thing sheathed get, get right now. Get it done while we have a little dry spell, right? Yes, sir. That's awesome. And what kind of siding goes on it? Uh, hardy lap siding, hidden quarter. Fiber cement, hardy yes, lap. Sir. Great. And it's all going to match what was on the home, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. That's what I remembered. Even down to the trim detail over the windows. But we still have the old leaves, which will look nice. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, though we are doing box soffit. Box soffit to yes, match sir. the house? Yes, sir. Okay, that I did not remember. That's great. And that new metal roof on there is beautiful too. Yes, sir. And great to see you guys wearing the safety glasses. <laughs> yes, sir. And I know that, that I don't have to come out, and, and you didn't do it for me because you do it all the time. Yes, sir, absolutely. And we had a safety meeting this morning, and yep. it was just, uh, remember what we all had to do at the safety meeting? Yeah, we had our patches over our one eye. Even I had a patch on my eye. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, but yeah, sent, just, a, sent just a good message. Sent a good message about how we'd hate to to be unsafe, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Well, keep up the good work, guys. Thank you, sir. No, it looks, it's good. It's looking really good. Appreciate it. All right, I'll just love the way to keep the job neat, and we're going to have our demo crew pick all this up this week, and that'll definitely give us some rainy day work. <laughs> In the rain. Sometimes that's what you got to do. This part of the tree that came out of the foundation area, it looks something like we could make we should save this as a uh, something for a desk, right? I can imagine cleaning it up and it's just decorative. That's a root. We gotta save that. It has the it has a nose like a cow on it. Look. It even looks like the nose of a cow. I gotta save this. Just mom, go in your junk drawer. You think mom will get mad if I save it? Yeah. 
Maybe the homeowner would like it. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. But don't you think it looks kind of like a cow? With a, with a part of the mouth and the horn? The other it horn got like broke off. It looks like you wish you had killed it. No, it's not that kind. It's not, it's a cow. Oh. Not a deer. Hey Caleb, don't you think that kind of looks like uh, the face of a of a cow or a bull? Yeah, I see it. I do. <laughs> That's funny. I just thought you might want to save it because it's kind of special. That's a root. <laughs> That's a natural mouse. Right? right? Isn't it a root? Didn't it come out of the foundation somewhere? Yeah. yeah. Or not. I don't know. It just looks artistic to me. You can have it. I'll donate it to you or to Alvin can have it. Oh, See Alvin? Look. Oh, nice. It's the face of a cow. And it's got a horn already and he got the other oh, horn damaged. Oh, no. Yeah, so he's he's a experienced cow. Okay. Bull. <laughs> we'll see y'all later. All right, thank you. Unlock it. Why do you want to unlock? Get in? It's raining. You don't want to get wet? Hurry up.